health bar or progress bar is in everywhere in the game. You need one in any type of game you wanna make. Whether it's a RPG, third person game, platformer, you need a progress bar to keep the player up to date about the game. In this video I'm gonna show you every type of health bar or progress bar that you can make using Unity. We will create the progress bar using slider, particle system, custom image, and in-game UI that you can use with your character. So please hit the like button and without further ado, let's get it started. Now as always, I have an empty Unity project. First thing I'm gonna do is to change my camera and choose a clear flag to solid color. And let's select some dark bluish color or something. Uh, now let me show you how fast it is to create a simple load bar or health bar in Unity. Uh, just go to the create, choose UI and then slider. Now select the canvas and change the scale factor to scale with the skin size. Uh, so now all my UI element will be adjusted based on the screen size. Cool. Now under the slider, I do not want the handle slide area. Uh, so I'm going to delete this. Then select background and change the anchor preset uh, to stretch all. I'm pressing command shift option on Mac. And do the same for the fill area and the fill. Now in slider script, just choose transition none so that the Unity can stop complaining about it. And that's it. Now you have a progress bar uh, or health bar without any writing any code or anything. No, I'm just going to quickly change the color. Awesome. Now let's add a text. Uh, go to UI. I'm going to choose the text mesh pro. Let's import the assets. Adjust the font size. By the way, if you don't have the text mesh pro, uh, add it by going to the window, package manager, then search for text mesh pro. Awesome. Now we need to update our text according to the slider value. To do that, I'm going to create a new empty game object. Let's call it loader. And let's give it a C-sharp script, also called loader. And I'm going to open the script in our framework editor. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to import the text mesh pro using TM pro. And I'm going to need the unity engine.ui. Now we need to reference our slider and text object. The loading text equal to loading text dot get component text mesh pro and the slider equal to slider dot get component slider. And in the update function, let's add loading text dot text equal to slider the value. So when slider value change, we can see in the loading text. Let's attach the text and the slider to our script. And there you go. Now you can change uh, the max value, whatever you would like. Uh, I'm going to put something like 100. And if you don't like the floating number, you can just make it go away by choosing the whole number. Awesome. Now we don't want user to change the slider, so we can just uncheck the interactable and voila, that's it. Now in your game you can add logic to reduce the health uh, whatever way you like. Here I'm going to show you a very simple one. I'm going to check for the space button and every time I press space, the player will lose the health by 10 or so. Let's try it. Uh, there you go. You can also use a normalized value, which will return a number from 0 to 1, regardless of the max value you put. Awesome. Now from this setup, we can easily transform it to a radial progress bar. To do that, I already imported two images, and I changed the texture type to Sprite 2D anyway. And then I'm going to go to the slider and let's change the width and height to 400 by 400. 
I'm going to attach image 1 to background source image and my image 2 to fill source image. Now if you move the slider, it will stretch the image from left to right, which, which we don't want. So to fix it, we're going to go to fill and change the image type to filled. And voila, you have a radial progress bar. Now you can change the direction any way you want. I'm just going to leave it to left to right. To change it to a donut is more easy. You can go to a create uh, then UI and image and attach an image one to the image. Then let's resize it so it filled the whole circle area. And then I'm going to add a padding 25 maybe uh, to left, right and top bottom. Cool. And you got a self add donut bar. Awesome. Let's activate the text. And it's working fine. Cool. Now I'm going to show you another way you can create a progress bar in your game, which is using a particle system. So let's go create some particle, go to game object, and then choose FX and particle system. Let's move our particle system on top so we can see. And uh, now for the particle system option, I'm going to choose the duration 1. Start delay to 0, make start lifetime to 1, speed is 2, and start size, make it a little smaller, maybe 0 0.1. Cool. Now go to the simulation space. Uh, we want it to simulate in our world space instead of local. Now let's go to the emission red over distance. Let's make it uh, 200, uh, maybe 300. Now go to the shape. Now the current shape is a cone, uh, but I want it to be a sphere. So let's change it to sphere. Now let's reduce the radius thickness to zero and the radius make it let's keep it one now let's select the color over the lifetime and i want it to be at the beginning we'll have a white but it will fade away later so let's choose alpha to zero let's select the size over lifetime now by default it's uh, gradually going up but what i want is to gradually go down so at first is one then slowly go down to zero now let's uh, increase the max particle to something like 2000 maybe now back to the emission and let's uh, reduce the rate over time to zero so what i want is i want uh, when we move we can see generate the particle but when we are not moving so there is no particle at all now I'm going to create a script which will which will move this uh, particle system. Uh, so let's create an empty game object. Let's call it circular motion and let's create a script also called circular motion. Create a couple variables uh, speed and radius and the count. So now in the update we're going to put count plus equal to speed and let's multiply this with time dot delta time let's create one more variable float x equal to math f dot sign of count into the radius and float y same thing just change to cos so we are trying to make a circle uh, with the radius that we're going to specify later so just want to move the transform dot position equal to the new vector 3 uh, which will be x y and the z should be 0 because we don't want to move to the z direction now let's um, put the speed 45 and radius 2 and now if you run this we can see our particle is moving uh, so i'm going to adjust the particle setting a little bit let's reduce the speed I'm going to reduce the, reduce the shape of the radius uh, to 0. Point something 0, 0, very small, 0, 0, 1. Cool. Now it's coming together. 
Now in the study speed, you can change it to something that you like. So I'm gonna put minus 0 0.8 or something that gives me a good animation. Uh, yeah, cool. Now let's adjust the text position and awesome. You can also play with the color. Uh, you can also use the gradient color. Let's go to the color of a lifetime. Then I'm gonna choose something like uh, between yellow and red that gives me a nice color i think oh cool i like this one so and there you go you have a circular progress bar for your game now you can experiment with it you can change whatever the color you want and whatever the setting you like Earlier I made a uh, leaf animation where the leaf is moving and the particle system is following the leaf. Uh, so, so let me show you how I did it. Uh, in the particle system is exactly the same except I used the start color slightly greenish to match with the leaf and turned down the opacity. And for the leaf I used a plane and attached the leaf texture to the plane and made the particle under the leaf uh, so it will move around with the particle system. Cool. Uh, so we can uh, do a lot of things with this. Uh, let me know what you guys came up with in the comment section below. I would love to check it out. Now if you want the progress bar with your player object uh, so that when you move the player the progress bar also move along with the player, you can do that. To do that I created a simple scene setup here. I have three cubes here and one I just added the simple player movement uh, so I can move around. The... Now I'm going to import the progress bar that we made before. Now let's call this uh, player and let's attach the canvas under the player. So when player move, our canvas also move. Now go to the canvas and in the render mode, instead of skin space, we're going to change it to wall space. So now our UI is very bigger than our player. So let's reduce it to match the player size. Now go to the background. Let's choose the source image to none and the fill image also none so it will match the whole area and awesome now you have a UI that move around with your player so you can show the player health the player health bar is not facing the camera so it's very hard to see what's happening to fix it let's click the canvas and let's create a new script called billboard and open up the billboard script I'm gonna remove uh, the start function, public camera cam. Now change the update to fix update, and let's put transform dot look at transform position plus camera dot transform the forward. Now what's it gonna do is always make the UI to face the camera. Let's add the main camera to our billboard script and our UI is facing towards the camera and also is moving with the player let's add a text uh, so we can see how it's changing let's add just the position now if we move around we can see our slider awesome now we can also do the same thing for the radial progress bar so let's change the progress bar to let's move this to the down now choose the fill and let's change the image color to something like white and for source image let's choose let's choose the green circle image that we had before and the image type choose to fill and for background, make the alpha down to zero. Now you have a circular progress bar or health bar, whatever you want to use it for. And it's moving with the character as well. So that's it for this video. Uh, please let me know what you think uh, in the comment section below. And please subscribe to our channel. We will see you in the next one.